Welcome to St Mary's on a huge night for Southampton and Newcastle United. Both sets of fans, not exactly regular visitors to Wembley. Alcaraz is a box-to-box -box midfielder, Rasmus Ankerson described him as to me. So yeah, I'd rather him see him at eight and give him a chance to get into the box and make those runs. As Newcastle break, lovely flick on from Wilson, driving in his armour on, we know how good he can be, squares it to the edge of the box, first time shot is shocking. Slammed over from Joe Willock, and that's a real missed opportunity for Newcastle on the break. But boy, did they catch Saints out there, and they had men over on this left-hand side. And Saints are glad that Willock, who likes scoring against them, and scored here in November, has absolutely flashed that horribly over. Byrne clears it up to halfway, tussled four between Chiletta Saar and Wilson, and it falls out in the end for Longstaff, who just gets it away from the attentions of one. And he finds Almiron, who's dragged down, the linesman flags, that could be the first yellow of the night. Chiletta Saar could go in the book, he's covering behind Salisu, who was beaten. And what is the referee doing here? It is the yellow card, we thought it might be. 28th minute, first yellow of the evening in the first leg of this semi-final. Newcastle fans, of course, will try and be noisy, but Saints fans at the moment doing their best to get their side to half-time, all square. Newcastle on the break, though, down the left have got other ideas. Willocks into the penalty area, goes inside Lianco, narrow angle, right foot shot, saved, the follow-up block, and then eventually put in by Joe Ellington. And the referee has blown for a free kick, and it won't count. And Stuart Atwell has seen something in the penalty area. Bazunu made a great save initially from Willock's shot with his left hand. There's a Saints player down in the six-yard box, but that is a goal that has been disallowed by Stuart Atwell. Now, he's seen something, the Saints player down injured. Yeah, I'm a little bit unsure of why he disallowed the goal. I did. I, I did actually see. Well, so many players in the brilliant play by Wilson kind of skips the ball on the left hand side for Newcastle, holds the defender away, and Willock can just run into it, drives in, take Lianco, and then he goes Could, past him. I like, mean, the shame is for Bazunu in a way, so he's, his save counts for nothing, but it does count for something, because had he not saved that, it would have been 1-0. Now, that's a poor pass from Kieran Trippier, who then wants some help to his left-hand side, but he's going to have to stay in and commit, because Diallo's driving towards the penalty area. Squares it to Alcaraz, he does like a shot. 25 yards, and Pope almost makes a mess of it. Spins off his hands and goes out for a corner. Could have gone anywhere. Saints fans started to believe. Alcaraz with the shot. It might have bounced just in front of Nick Pope, but he almost made an absolute hash of it on the halfway line, on this right wing, faced by Joe Ellington. Lobs one over the top. It's not a bad ball, you know. Nick Pope has to come out of his area, heads it clear, wipes Jenepo out, and the referee's either going to get the throw or a free kick, but Pope got the header. There's no doubt that he touched the ball, but did he foul Jenepo as well, or is that impossible, Joe Tesson, given that he headed it? They're almost matched up, these two sides in the formations, as Newcastle give it away cheaply on the far side. Opportunity for Adam Armstrong, drives outside, Burn uses his pace, flashes it into the penalty area. Newcastle get it away, only half away. Ward-Prowse has got it back, once a free kick doesn't get it, and Newcastle will try and break down the left-hand side. Now Mirren's popped up on the far side, that's the left, and he's gone streaking past Salisu, who's trying to get back to him. They're going foot for foot, it's crossed at the edge of the box, shot fired into the Saints fans in the northern end by Longstaff on the run, possibly should have hit the target. Good pressure on him from Alcaraz in the end, but it's another chance for Newcastle that's gone begging. Almiron on this right-hand side, midway inside the Saints half. Newcastle playing from left to right, towards the pattern all the men. Almiron looking for a 1-2, gets it to the byline in the box, pulls it about the six-yard area, got to be! Oh, my goodness me! It's been skied over the bar from four yards out by Joe Ellington. And that is the miss of the night. It might be the miss of the season, and it's still nil-nil somehow, and someone is smiling down on Saints. Makes you wonder. I just think Nathan Jones will be seeing this going wrong and he'll be getting a back five on as quick as he can. Almiron's cross from the right again. This time the shot from an arrow angle into the side netting. And some of the Newcastle fans thought they'd scored because the angle they were at. But it was never looking close from Sven Botman, who was up from the back. They're throwing the big men up now. 
and James Ward Prowse stumbles as he tries to latch on to Pope's long throw out and they manage to recover him and Diallo between them and then Armstrong can get it past the defence and Armstrong skip past three he's in the box he shoots going away from goal always difficult from that angle but he's been a bright spark since he's come on the Geordie against his hometown club and he's lashed that one into the chapel end and now we're going to see the changes then they go for the long switch Newcastle from left to right and this time it's well judged by Salisu and a good clearance Alcaraz, and Alcaraz plays a perfect through ball, and here's Shea Adams, Shea Adams in the penalty area, saved by Pope with his left foot, tried to place it past him, nothing really wrong with the shot from Shea Adams, a good save from Pope, and Walker Peters is darting into the box again, down the right, caught by Pope, too close to the near post, and it's a let-off for Newcastle. Shea Adams, story of his season, one-on-one -on -one with a keeper, can't get it past him. No, he does everything right again. And it's played out by Ward Prowse down the right to Armstrong on the wing. Looks for an early ball, spears it back towards the D, and it's intercepted by retreating Bruno Guimaraes, and he gives it to his compatriot, Joe Ellington. His pass is poor, and another Brazilian gets it. Lianco with his gloves on, gives it back to Walker Peters, bundled over. Free kick given slowly by Stuart Atwell against Joe Willock. Him and uh, Walker Peters, Joe Willock and Walker Peters having quite an interesting battle tonight. Can Ward Prowse deliver? Right footed into the box, nodded down by Lianco. On the turn, volley from Adam saved. And the follow up from Adam Armstrong blocked. And this game has turned in Saints' favour in the last 10 minutes. Lianco shoots over the bar. And Eddie Howe is seeing this half first leg drift away from his team. The last 10 minutes has totally belonged to Southampton. As Fabian Cher now brings it forward. Down the right wing he goes. Alexander Isak turns to Chiletta Saar way too easily. He's in the box at the bottom, pulls it back, and that is 1-0 to Newcastle. And this time there is no mistake made from Joe Ellington, who arrived in the six-yard area at the right time. And the Toon Army go mad away to our right. And having made a hash of his effort 20 minutes ago, Joe Ellington makes no mistake from three yards out. Put on a plate for him after Isak turned to let inside out. And it's Saints nil, Newcastle 1. There's no way you can see them scoring three times at Newcastle against a team that don't concede. No, but, but they've got to score. Now Adam Armstrong's done well, eventually meets a wall in Burn. Cross from Ward Prowse into the box. Shea Adams' header goes up, comes out to Adozi, lobs it back in. Armstrong tries to get there, and it's gone in! And Adam Armstrong! <laughs> The Newcastle boy has scored against his hometown club, bundling it over the line after good work from Adams and Adozi. And Newcastle had the lead for just moments. And Adam Armstrong off the bench against the club he started his career at has his dream moment against Newcastle. Oh, I can't hit, see a handball there. He hits Adam Armstrong's hand can on you the way. That? Yeah, you can see it. He hits his hand. I'm watching the replay. I'm not it sure I can even say that. his hand, uh, Adam. It, it, what is uh, his hand on the... Oh, it just touches his hand, it does. Referee says, free kick, and it's still 1-0. And the celebrations are cut short. It's hit Adam Armstrong's hand on its way to the goal. Lavia reads that from Newcastle, and it's slipped back to him from Adams. They've taken the ball back off Newcastle, just inside the Newcastle half, and then Lavia wanted too much time, and he was caught by Longstaff, and St. Maximin will drive past the Belgian, and he's got full skates on now, the Frenchman skips past two, and Chiretta Saar says he didn't do anything wrong, but I think he's got to be careful, he's been booked, and that's the second yellow card for Duya Chiretta Saar, and he's off. The Croatian centre-back sent off for a second yellow card. We have just over a minute left of stoppage time. Saints have had their chances in this second half, they've had their moments, and that's a lovely ball through for Isak. Pazunu, who's got to do something here, he's gone round him, but it's narrow, and he's hit it into the side netting, and in the end, the Swede could have made a better fist of that than he did. Eddie Howe would be disappointed, he could have even stopped and played it back inside the penalty area, but he's tried to shoot off balance right-footed. Little free kick taken short, Saints have fallen asleep. Trippier will hand it and send it into the penalty area. Heads go up, Lianco wins a crucial header. Shea Adams nods it down very well, and that is it. Half-time in this cup tie, full-time in the first leg. Southampton nil, Newcastle 1.